About 14 years ago, myself and my partner got together to Vienna. Just after Valentine's Day, we got together, and I wanted to do the romantic gesture. And so I went off and I got Valentine's card, and I sat in the back of the car and I wrote it out. But she didn't tell me for two or three years later, she couldn't read it. Like, Marie was the first tutor I had, and she's now one of my best friends. I wouldn't be anywhere without Marie. And I have Christine and Kathleen, two lovely people, and they couldn't be more helpful. And all the staff, from Mary, Lillian, Louise, I couldn't be better. And I'm so very grateful to them. From day one, they made me feel I could be better. You know, that kind of a way. But they don't force it to let it out yourself, you know, your own way, and they're like family at this stage. It is most, it is all men in our class, and we're all roughly the, the one age. And, you know, and not only do we get on and help each other, but we're chatting. And you know, and, you know, men don't talk. And everything is said in our class is private and confidential. So we can bounce things off of each other, and we have a good old chat, and it's more like a gathering sometimes thing, you know, and it's helpful in more ways than just learning. Yeah, we were honoured really to be approached by Liam, um, having been made aware that he had collected these pieces of work um, with, with his tutors within Tipperary ETB. So um, what we were able to do, and again, very honoured to be able to do, is be able to support the publication of this. And again, what we can do afterwards is again, make this available to all literacy learners um, across the whole of the country as well, who can hopefully take inspiration from Liam's work. I think one of the things that really comes from listening to not only fellow panellists but also within the, the audience and um, again friends and family is that whole sense of connection and again that's not only connection in terms of the material but also connection in terms of the tutors, in terms of the role the family and friends play as well in supporting and again the this is something hopefully that um, again not only um, other learners can take inspiration from but also other family and friends who perhaps can see or know of somebody who again um, would like to make that bold and again courageous step into improving their reading and writing and maybe be in a position to be able to signpost them and to help that support them in that journey that they make. Ten years ago Liam embarked on a journey of self-discovery. Liam wanted to improve his reading and writing. That was the initial reason for coming to classes. But it has amounted in so, to so much more than that. Adult literacy learners across the country can take inspiration from Liam, whether that is to write their first word, their first sentence, or eventually their own book. They are the writers of their own destinies. It could be that what somebody wants to do is help their child with their homework so that their child has a great educational experience, can go to college and break a cycle of unmet literacy needs. Somebody might be joining the adult literacy service so that they can improve their skills, progress to a course of further or higher education and get a job. There is huge inspiration we can draw from Liam's journey and that is if you work hard, if you come to classes and you persevere and have the support of family, friends and tutors, you can do anything.